Hi, this is Ray Wilson of Music from Outer Space, and uh, I just want to talk to you for a while here about the MFOS 7 Segment Linear Envelope Generator. Um, this took a while to get uh, together, but uh, I, I feel that at this point it is good to go. I think people are going to find it uh, a useful module in their sense for a lot of uh, purposes. Uh, I'll go over some of the functionality uh, now. Um, what I have set up right now is just a repeating uh, pattern that uses four segments. Uh, I have our uh, event segments set to four. Uh, this pattern in includes a uh, sustain section here on the third um, slope or so third segment. And so what we kind of have is an ADSR type of setup right now. Uh, I'll show you that on the uh, oscilloscope. So now we're looking at the oscilloscope where you can see this uh, ADSR pattern. It's repeating. So this is your attack, decay. Here's our sustain, release, and then we're repeating that. And uh, now so that you can hear this, uh, I'm going to be modulating a VCO with it. So I'll turn that guy up. So that's what you have right now. As this is happening very quickly, here we're set on about uh, 5 milliseconds per division. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the slope control on the attack and I'm going to turn it towards a slower slope so you can see how, how that works. You can really have this thing going slow if you want. That's really slow. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. It's driving me nuts. Okay. And when it gets to the threshold we've set, it'll slam down and, uh, and then repeat again. And this isn't even as slow as it will go, so you can make it go even slower, <clears throat> but just to demonstrate. Okay, pretty soon here. And we also have our decay. I turned that time so that it would be longer as well. I'll speed him up. And then we're back to that attack. You can see how long this would take. Okay, so we'll just speed him up. So now we've got a long attack, a kind of long decay, but we can also make him longer. And again, it would go really long. Okay, if you wanted to. Now we'll go back to the, the, the fast times for our attack and decay. And as you can see, we can get an attack that goes from ground to uh, full output in about a millisecond. <clears throat> now if you're going from all the way low to full, uh, all the way negative to full positive, it's going to be about two milliseconds. Okay, so now this sustain, and, and right now we're in the uh, repeat mode, and the sustain uh, you can make that longer, you can make that shorter. We'll make it pretty long. Okay. And now this is in the repeat mode. Now, if we were in a triggered, or excuse me, a gated mode, which we'll go to now, turn off repeat. Now, I'm going to be in gate mode one which will mean hold the uh, first sustain segment you come to. So there it is. It's, it's uh, gone through the attack and the, the decay. It's in the sustain segment. I let go. It goes through the uh, release. Now what I'm going to do is turn the release time down so you can hear that a little bit more effectively. And we'll go a little faster than that. Okay, so... I'm holding, and so it continues to sustain. Okay, we can get a real long attack. Go a little bit further than that. If you get too close to the uh, sustain position, find you won't be going up at all, but there you go. Now this is really going to take a long time to go high. 
as you can see. Okay, I'll speed that up so you can get the idea. Okay, I sped it up even further. And that was our decay, that last one. I'm speeding them all up. You can go down really fast on that decay in a millisecond. While the controls are still weighted somewhat toward the fast times, you do have adequate space now, adequate rotational, uh, uh, you know, an amount of rotational degrees that it, is, it feels good. You can get your slow times and your fast times fairly comfortably. All right, so that's, uh, we're going to put this now in um, gate mode two, what we do, I'll go a little faster on that attack. Okay, what it does is it goes all the way back to the ready state as soon as you let go. Now it'll go through the, set, the uh, cycle until then and then it just uh, goes back to the ready state. It doesn't go through any further states once you let go of the gate. Again, gate mode one, different. In that when you let go, it goes to the remaining states, however many you might have set up. All right, so um, let's go ahead and put it back into repeat. And turn this back faster. Okay, now that we've seen the four segments demonstrated this uh, sustain, let's go to more segments. Now here's five. Now what we've got is after our attack, our fast decay, which will slow him down a little bit, slow her down, whatever it is. <laughs> Then we go into our sustain, there is then um, that release, but then we have another section that we've thrown in here, and it continues up to here, and then finally resets. Now we'll go to six sections. Now that falling section is also part of our envelope. Okay, let's, let's make that go, so you can make that go down slower if you want. Change the, the uh, level it goes to so forth. Okay, let's go to seven segments now. So now, let's see if we can get this guy in view. This is hard to get triggering. Okay, here we go. So now we can see the seven segments. We have our first, second, we have a sustain set there. There's a Segment, 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 segment. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven segments. And essentially, you can make them go up, down, connect them however you want, and uh, control whatever you want. Now, we'll go out of the um, setting there for repeat. And I'll demonstrate again here how we go to that first. Here, let me turn this guy back to auto triggering in quick. We go to that first. Sustain, we hold till we let go, then we go through the rest of the cycle. Let me show you that on the actual unit. Yes. So we'll go ahead and we'll hit the gate button. It's just like a gate would be applied from external. And this does have a comparator on the uh, gate input, so you can go from about oh, two and a half, three volts up. Uh, you just don't want to exceed the power supply voltage of the unit. But there, we're, we're holding on that sustain level and then we go through the rest of the uh, segments. We'll slow them down a little bit more. And there you go. We can slow this last guy down some more. final threshold voltage or back to the ready state. Now as I mentioned in the ready state the output is at ground. Uh, when you're in one of the segments of course you're sloping up or you're sloping down to a positive or a negative voltage. Um, in slope runaway 
what that means is you know you're trying to slope high too many times in a row or um, these knobs are not set appropriately from one stage to the next and I explain a lot of this on the website you really just have to experiment around with it play with it it's uh, it's a lot of fun now we'll go back to our repeat we'll speed these sections up all right so once again we're flying through we're repeating uh, what I want to show you here is when we get to our sustain section okay the voltage that occurs at the time of sustain is determined by the preceding uh, segment so the terminal voltage of this segment is going to be where we sustain so if we can turn him down see So that's how you get to the sustain level is, is by the preceding segment. Can you have more than one sustain segment? And the answer is yes. What we'll do here is we'll turn this guy to a sustain segment. And the light has to be on. The, the thresh V, the, the time light has to be on. If it's not on, that means this isn't adjusted to the correct position. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, see? Now he's just going to slope slowly, very slowly or he'll slope down very slowly and sometimes so slow it almost seems like it's not sloping and and that situation can occur because the currents get really low when you get to this middle part but you have to be in the voltage range where this light comes on then you're in a sustain segment now we're sustaining here for a while we're going to turn that way down turn this guy way down okay now let me see if i can uh, i'll show you this on the oscilloscope Hold on. Okay, now we can see both of those sustained segments, this one and that one, and we can widen them out. We need to make that real wide if we want. Now I'll make it really wide. And it will, it will get past the sustained segment. What we have is a uh, ramp generator that's coming up very, very slowly in this case, and it's determining the time of the sustained segment and it can go out for quite a while okay, I won't bore you but I assure you it will we'll, we'll turn down a little bit there see okay and again that voltage that you get to is determined by the previous step now some people might wonder what does the uh, output of the envelope sound like uh, when you're just you know listening to it now what I've got is I've got all the knobs set uh, very, very, you know, fast slopes and going to the maximum uh, thresholds in, you know, one direction, then the other, one direction, then the other, as you can see here. Uh, let's see if we can get this guy to trigger. All right. Not going to happen for me. Well, there we go. All right. So what's going on is that uh, we're repeating. So we start with that high uh, slope, we go low, we go high, we go low, we go high, we go low, we go high, and then bam, we're back to the beginning. Now, we can change this so that it sounds uh, differently. Now, number one, you can increase the frequency by lowering the thresholds, okay, because then things happen faster. So I'm just lowering the thresholds one by one here, still keeping them alternating positive and negative but you can see that now you're at this frequency now if we start to shape this a little differently we can bring in kind of a uh, sawtooth or excuse me a ramp wave we can soften that by the next segment we can make one of these segments sustain which will uh, give us a flat spot in our waveform I see and now I don't have the output turned up always you can see that the amplitude can go up quite a bit and also uh, notice when we go the opposite direction with our output and level uh, level and polarity control 
we can invert our envelope or invert our signal. Okay, so what you could do, I mean, you could make some cool drones with this if you had a couple of these guys and, and it would let you just shape these, uh, these waveforms. Oh, that's my sustaining waveform. My sustaining section, I should say. And you can make it real low by making that sustain long. Bring it back up. Change that threshold. Change the speed with which you get to that threshold. See, so that's what the output sounds like. Um, and I'm just having it come through here straight. Uh, if you put it through a low-pass filter or something, I'll go ahead and do that. So you can make some complex waveforms with it for droning. And they sound uh, very cool. So, there you go. That's essentially it. You have seven segments of uh, envelope. You can control their slope going up or going down, the times, uh, the polarity of your envelope, and you can use this as a signal source, as you see here, if you want to. Uh, but it makes a great envelope generator, and I hope if you build this, uh, you enjoy it. It's a pretty complicated project. You want to make sure you're careful, you build it right, because uh, it's a bear to troubleshoot, I'll be honest with you. Uh, but you just have to walk through the schematic and uh, you know, one thing at a time. You know, just, okay, is the gate working? Okay, is this working? Is if you run into problems. If you build it exactly as I show, bam, it's going to work first time. So, uh, that's that. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, it's been a long time coming. I'm glad this is done. I'm ready to move on to some other projects. And I uh, appreciate you taking the time to watch this. So. In any case, Ray Wilson, Music from Outer Space, uh, the new MFOS 7 segment linear envelope generator. I hope you get a chance to check it out and build one. Thank you. Bye-bye.